Imagine if you can a world in where a teenager named Eric Berryman is actually a good chef. Well, this is that world tonight on Eric Gourmet Hour. Taking chances on everything in my life Even against all the odds I roll the dice Count me in On any deal that comes around If you want to cook for Grandpa, all you need is a goddamn hammer and a pound of bacon! <laughs> What is that? It's bacon! What? Hit! Oh god. Are you sure that's bacon? No! Oh, okay, I see. Okay! Shh. What are you cooking today? Today I'm making a version of. A version of? How about you say what it is? Making pizza! It ain't a version of pizza. Pizza's pizza. And I'm making a goddamn pizza, okay? Is that good enough for you? It's good enough for me. But it's Grandpa's way. It's lazy, basically, what you're saying. Well, what? Now, I'm gonna start off. With. I'm gonna make two pieces. But I'm only gonna make one at a time. Not smart. But I know you can't eat but one pizza at a time. You know you want my pizza. I don't know yet. But anyway. Hey, open this motherfucker. Five biscuits. Throw trash away. You gonna take these biscuits? You gonna lay them out? Are you waiting to see my goddamn bacon? I'm watching it burn. No, you're watching it get crispy. One attack, two attack, three a heart attack, attack. Okay, let me back. We got that. Then we want to take the pizza sauce. See, I make my own pizza sauce. Well, I'm trying to do something cheap. You spread that bitch around. Yeah, fuck, I need something better. She's that cooking spoon right there. Come on, stick it in my goddamn bacon! What about this cooking spoon then? Let's go buy this old mozzarella cheese.
I shop at Save a Lot. Because I save money to save a lot. Look at that goddamn. That's how you shut it up? How you shut it up? Good. Of course, you'll come up with some kind of funky, exotic shit to make yours out of. What do you mean? Uh, you'll probably make this, but you, you'll want to use. Yeah, I'll use dough and. But that ain't important to this. This is something that you can do for your family. You come home from work, you're tired, you don't feel like doing shit. That's true. This is something that you can just throw together. That's true. Anybody ain't got time like you do. Chuck it on there. Oh. Leave me some bacon out. What a like goddamn bacon man. Yeah, you cook everything with it. Everything gets bacon. Then I will come here and put just a little more cheese on top of that. Will you shut the fuck up? Hurry up, bitch! Look at that blurry ass picture. Better? Yeah. Then you drop it in the oven for about 15 minutes. And let them biscuits rise and all that cheese and a good deal. Look at that, man. Oh. It's just about ready to come out. It ain't ready now? Just about. Take it out. I said just about. I'm taking it out. Don't touch my shit. Oh, shit. I gotta give it to you. You might be right about this. Look at that boy. Until it cool off a few minutes. Just can you get it? Ah, I burned the shit out of me! That stupid shit. Why am I sitting there eating pizza off your counter? I don't know. So here's dad's loaded. Oh, God damn. Have you tried the crust yet? Oh my god. That's legitimately a good crust. Oh my god. Try that at home, youngers. Biscuit dough pizza. I'm making this in my house. You gotta get rid of that crust. <laughs> Hot. <laughs> oh, worth it though. You saw me do it. It has incredible flavor. The whole pizza costs like nine or ten bucks and tastes way better than the damn pizza. Will you get here? It's up, man. And tastes way better than what you'd buy in the store. So, it does. and didn't take but five minutes to prepare it and 20 minutes to bake it. So, y'all try it at home. Remember, AGP says, eat them up. Bye. No, it ain't my quote. I just wanted to fucking say it. Goodbye. When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's amore. When the world seems to shine like you've had too much wine, that's amore. Bells will ring, tingle-ling-a-ling, tingle-ling-a-ling, and you'll sing the bell. 
parts to play tippy tippy tay tippy tippy tay like a guitar on the I'm already filming. All right, so we got the biscuits, we got southern home style, buttermilk, and then for dessert, cinnamon rolls. Nice. Okay, now we're just gonna get a little pack of cheese. Cause... All right, um, but first you need to apologize. For what? For ripping off Angry Grandpa. Oh, I dedicate this video to Angry Grandpa. He was a good man, and uh, I'm so proud and honored to make his famous trailer park pizza. Fucker. Hey, you vagina spider looking bitch! Vagina spider what? You know what you can do? You can suck my dick! Now, which one do I choose? Reduced fat or low moisture? Low moisture? How do you know? I don't know. And I said that as a question. Because I'd never heard of that type of cheese. Uh, Believe me, think of cheese as sex. I think the more moisture, the better. Fair enough. Uh, yeah, but you don't know. Grandpa celebrates the death of Bin Laden. Really? Yeah, he goes to the cake shop and he's like, put goodbye Bin Laden. I saw the one where uh, there was like the thing where it's like, mom has a new boyfriend oh, yeah. and he like seems like he's about to go kill someone but he goes to a store and yeah. he grabs the cake like say goodbye Tina <laughs> and then there's the one where he shows the first one where he's like mom got a new boyfriend and he's black and he's like <laughs> they say once you go back you never go back god damn those donuts are delicious you ever had ding dongs and ho ho's no but I've had twinkies you know what I love out of all these what I think the best ones out of all these, powdered donuts. Yeah, those are delicious. Um, I don't particularly, I'm not a big fan of uh, Zingers. I'm also not really a big fan of those oatmeal cream pies. But honey buns, cosmic brownies, I mean, who doesn't know cosmic brownies? Those are delicious. Swiss I don't like cream. oatmeal, so. Uh, not many people do. I mean, regular oatmeal is fine, but like, extracurricular shit. Oh, a lemon meringue. Lemon meringue pie always looks weird. That looks like the bunker of my apocalypse. <laughs> apocalypse now. Final cut. Coming soon oh, to a cornbread. theater near you. Cornbread, love cornbread. I remember I went to this cornbread, uh, this really healthy cafe before, and I ordered cornbread, and I expected it to look, you know, like this, just like normal good cornbread. They had actual corn in the bread. I saw that like on a thing, it was like struggle meals. Yeah. You ever see what struggle meals are? No, but do I want to know what they are? They're like poorly made um, dishes by people who clearly cannot afford to make actual food. Red, white, and blue. America. America. One of the one of the desserts I really don't like, angel food cake. Never had it. It's a really light cake, but it has like that almond kind of flavor. Oh, I just don't like it at all. I don't like almonds, so that's well, good for it's me. Not, it doesn't taste like regular almonds. Um, it's like almond extract flavor. So that's probably worse. Yeah, it is. All right, what else do we need to get? Uh, I think that's it, because we got tomato sauce at home. We got bacon at home. And then we got, um, uh, what's the last one? Oh, pepperoni. All right, we'll see you at home. All right, ready? Yeah. Get, get out of the shot. Oh. Hey. Yeah, be nice. He's mean. He'll, he's gonna regret Where it. Now. I got Major. you, Regret. You know where my regret Major is. Major regrets. Like, why the pizza? Yeah. He's going on the pizza? Oh. Yeah, I just started filming. Oh, right now? Like a four seconds okay. ago. Alright. Alright, so we're back home in the kitchen. Got all the ingredients there. Um, so now what we're going to start with is we're going to cook the bacon. So I already have this bacon chopped up from yesterday because I made this yesterday. Um, so this is just what uh, we have left over of bacon. So I chopped it up into about pieces like this big maybe. And most of the fat's just going to render and become grease. So you're eventually going to put that, you know, out of the pizza. So now you're just going to break this up a bit because you don't want it to just be you know, cooking in a ball. All right? Okay. Spread that out. And now go wash your hands because if you touch raw pork, um, you don't want to contaminate anything else. 
What if it's turkey bacon? If it's turkey bacon, then, then that's not real bacon. Uh, yeah, sure. It's like Canadian bacon. All right, so my voice is gonna be not as loud now because I am turning the vent on. All right, so. Throw this away. All right. So while the bacon is going to be cooked, I took what maybe a tablespoon of butter. I would, no, yeah, about around one tablespoon of butter. Let's put it in here. And what I'm doing is I'm gonna put it in for a minute, or actually not a minute, maybe 29 seconds. Yeah, because butter Cause melts. Butter's gonna become really. Uh, you don't want it to like boil in there. So, yeah. While this is cooking, I am going to. This is going to be what we put the um, pizza in in the oven. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to first, um, when the butter's melted, I'm going to baste it so it doesn't stick. Oh, you use butter instead of olive oil? Uh, well, I mean, olive oil on pizza. I mean, you could, you could, you could do olive oil. You can do butter. Um, you can do Pam. I know a lot of people use Pam because it's quick and easy, but in my opinion, Pam, it's not in the natural. Yeah, Pam kind of sounds like an old woman. That's... Alright, so, see the bacon starting to sizzle? So you might have something like this. What you're going to take is a spatula or one of those barbecue sauce brushes. I don't know if I have one on me right now. I can check. If I have one. Oh, actually I do. You can take one of these. Nice. So, what these do, get a little wet first so the butter doesn't stick to the plate. Good idea. So, now what you're gonna do, you're gonna come over here, and you're just gonna lather this up. All right, so, you know, nice even coats. And you can always use more butter if you want. This is just to make sure you get a nice crisp on the bottom of the biscuit, but also allow the, um, Biscuit to come out nice without being stuck. Yeah, you gotta be careful. You know who used too much butter? Who? Paula Dean. Oh. But that's not why she got fired. Wasn't she racist or something? Yeah, of course she was. Well, she's from the South, right? Yeah. I love South uh, cooking shows. I love um, Southern food. You like Cajun? Southern food? Yeah, I love Cajun. That might be my favorite food. Yeah, no, better than Chinese food? Uh. Chinese food's certainly good, I do have to say that. Even Angry Grandpa approved the Chinese food, so. So, and you're gonna wanna get it also on maybe like the halfway point on the sides because the biscuits do rise. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, I mean, the higher you do, the better because you don't know how much they're gonna rise, I guess. All right, so the bacon's cooking. I want you a shot of the bacon cooking real quickly. Okay. Get a good shot like this. Right. And now leftover butter. Put that in there. Alright, so now you're just gonna put these back in the thing. Okay. Now yeah. once the bacon is done cooking, we'll be back. Oh, all right, good. Alright, so now I'm actually using a spatula to do the bacon. And warning, if you're wearing a, a t-shirt like me and Anything like bacon, sausage, just cooking in a pan on fairly high heat, you're going to want to put on like an oven mitt because it splatters. Um, not, yeah, I, I don't need an apron. They're off from your name. So you're going to want to get this like evenly cooked. See that big blob of fat? It's probably going to turn into grease soon. So you're just going to want to, every few to, uh, seconds or so, you're just going to want to turn it around. All right, so without further ado, we're going to now put the biscuits in. All right, let's so do today, it. I got two types of biscuits. Um, we were at Safeway, you saw we got them. So, one is the original Southern Home Style from Pillsbury, and this includes eight biscuits. And the other is the Buttermilk Southern Home Style. Now, they fairly taste the same, except I didn't want to just get two, I wanted to mix it up. Um, this also contains eight biscuits. So, if you don't know how to open a biscuit, it's really fun. So, this should be a little peel thingy right here. Yeah, so you peel these. All right, save okay. this because you're gonna need directions. And by the way, right now preheat your oven. 
so they, this is going to go in for um, 375 and this is based off what the biscuits are. So 375, preheat your oven. And make sure you turn the vent on when you're cooking. All right, so now we're going to come over here and this is how you open um, the biscuits. Pops open. Just hit it against the countertop. So now we're going to come over to this. Try not to be in your way, but need to also get everything on camera. Yeah. And now you're going to take your biscuits. Okay. And you're going to try making them towards the center because we don't have that many. Um, but if you get more than we did, uh, you should, you can definitely make enough. This is just a very large pan. So yeah, I'm going to do, um, what do you think? Three or four? Three, I think, right? Yeah. All right, so three. You don't want to perfectly touch them together. You want to leave some space just because they rise and you don't want them to like turn and into they expand, like a normal right? function. Yeah, they expand, they rise. So that there. And you got two more in there. Two more in here, and then we got one more in there. See, if I was the one cooking, uh, I would have opened both, and then I would have set it up like a checkered board. So it was like oh. one, and then the other one, one, and then the other one. Oh, you mean, well, to be honest, they taste the same. Did you see that? I did. Oh, that was awesome. Oh, you mean, well, to be honest, they taste the same. Did you see that? I did. Oh, that was awesome. Oh, you mean, well, to be honest, they taste the same. Did you see that? I did. Oh, that was awesome. I don't think I've ever had them before. And I cook biscuits a lot. That just popped in my hand. I didn't even need that. That scared me, honestly. I thought I thought that was the bacon. Oh really? Well, I'm gonna need to stir that in a second, but just watch. Yeah, here. Do that first. It hurts. You want it to get nice and crispy. Yeah. But if you Man, don't that, like that bacon really crispy good. bacon, then you don't have to make it crispy. So here's what I like to do. Once I get all the biscuits um, to make like an even pizza, so this is actually four by three, so 12 biscuits. Then I fill in the holes by cutting up some biscuits. Oh, okay. Um, Angry Grandpa didn't do that in his recipe because he fortunately had the jumbo biscuits, but um, in my area, they don't sell that particular brand of jumbo biscuits. They only sell the brands. So now what I do is I just, you can cut them or you can just peel them. Um, really doesn't matter. You're just gonna take some chunks. Fill in. Pull right here, but you're not gonna see it once you ultimately have the pizza. So now I'm gonna wash my hands. I didn't okay. see you so. I did use soap on that electronic thing. I know, I'm just joking. Look how nice and crispy this bacon is. This almost looks way too burned, but trust me, it's good. Especially when it goes in the oven. All right, so now, next step is to take your tomato sauce. So I actually have some leftover from yesterday, and then I have um, a backup for that. So what you're gonna do is, you're gonna take your tomato sauce and just pour. Okay. Pour, um, sometimes to get rest of that, but you fill it with water a bit. So I mean, you don't gotta do that. Yeah, I don't want water on my pizza. Okay. Alright, so that's done. Now I'm gonna take up my new one. I can open it. Come on, Eric, use your muscles. Alright. That should be a good amount. Yeah, that's a good Now what you're gonna do is you're going to spread it around. <laughs> spread it. Uh, I actually like a lot of people. I do even coats of tomato sauce, but I like more tomato sauce than mine. Yeah. It's just, uh, and if it spills over the sides, it's perfectly fine because I noticed um, it did that, and the biscuits are just gonna inflate anyways, so yeah. they'll be picking up. Okay, so um, make sure you get it on the entire pizza because I know last time I wanted to have a little crust, but since the biscuits rose so much, um, their crust was just overpowering with the actual pizza. So in other words, 
the tomato sauce, the cheese, pepperoni, bacon were all in the middle, and you had this gigantic crust, which um, is not uh, like terrible, but I mean, oh, there's the oven. Very good. Okay, I'm just gonna add a little bit more. I always like in the cooking episodes of Angry Grandpa how he's like, I'm gonna put a little bit of this and then he puts like the whole yeah, thing. Yeah, and his son, Pickle Boy's gotta stop him. And uh, we all know he loves salt, but uh, unfortunately you don't need really much salt for this pizza. You don't need any actually, it's probably already in the stuff. Okay, so this is kind of what you want. You want everything kind of evenly coated. That. Yeah, okay. Okay, so that looks pretty good. So now what you're gonna do is you are going to take your cheese. Um, if you so. need cheese and you can't find any at a store, just watch an 80s action movie, one of the bad ones, and there you'll just have a whole bunch. All right, so you're gonna take general, generous amount of cheese. Uh, you don't wanna overdo it, you always just wanna add. I was about to say, that one looked like a clump. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now, you can also just sprinkle it. And you want to cover basically the entire pizza, because like I said, the crust is overpowering if you don't do that. It's all right if you spill a lot of cheese in the thing because it's just gonna melt off anyways. Okay, so that looks like a pretty good amount. What do you think? Maybe a bit more right here. Yeah. Unless you're trying to like how Round Table does it. No, not Round Table. Pizza My Heart. Or like the sauce kind of comes up a little bit above the cheese oh, right, in those right. lines. And so now you are going to take the bacon. This bacon is like perfectly flat. You can either do pepperoni first or bacon. I just like doing bacon. Yeah, it's alphabetical. Yeah. So. I just like getting it all out and then spreading it. It might be a little hot, but that's okay. I don't, I don't want to risk pouring a lot of grease onto the pizza. I don't know, like, for me personally, the a good way to tell if a pizza's good is if it's greasy. Well, that's from the cheese, mostly. Um, but if you're doing, like, a bacon pizza... Well, I know that. Like this, um, and then, so now you're just going to leave this to collect. That's a little higher, whatever, right there. And now you're just going to try spreading these out evenly. They are hot. That looks pretty even to me. That looks good. Now... Get pepperoni. I already know what song I'm gonna put over for the intro. That Italian song, like, when the moon meets your eye like a big pizza you pie. Need to cut that that's out. Amore. I really need to cut that out. You need to cut that out. Okay. All right, this is pepperoni. And now what I do is I'm going to place it um, another three by four. And I'm usually doing it by every biscuit length. Oh, that's smart actually. And if there's some gaps in the middle, then you just use extra. But, um, I mean... Okay. So that's pretty much the pizza. Now, we are about to put it in the oven. So, let's just go over through a walkthrough right now. We got our biscuits first. Well, actually, butter first. Biscuits, tomato sauce, mozzarella cheese, bacon bits or pepperoni, and then pepperoni or bacon. And then that's the pizza right there. And so now I'm going to wash my hands and then I am going to cut the pizza in. Alright, so without further ado, um, let's see. I might need someone to open the oven. Hmm. Uh, shoe chef, whatever, Max is here. Okay. 
You're gonna put that in the oven right there. It almost fell. Yeah. So now the cooking time, like I said, this, the instructions for the biscuits say 375 for 11 to 15 minutes, but I found out it does that is not good for just pizza over biscuits. So you're gonna have to do somewhere around the 20, 20 to 25 minute range. So I'm gonna do like 24 minutes. And once the pizza's ready, we'll get back to you. Yeah, right. around me, right? The pizza was actually put in for about, I want to say close to 30 something minutes, believe it or not. Um, it's strange because I think the more cheese and tomato sauce you add, the longer it's going to take for the biscuits to fully become crispy, um, golden. So without further ado, let's open this. Oh, that smells good. So, I mean, it got pretty big. It did. That's nice. So I'm gonna put it right here. And let your leave your oven open a bit to let it cool. So here's the final product. As you can see, it definitely and probably could use more pepperoni, but um I mean it depends on how much you want. But like I said, when I first made this on the one I did yesterday, I didn't add enough cheese to the side, so you had a lot of overpowering crust. So now, since I added cheese more to the size of the tomato sauce, it's now fully covered. So yeah, that's the little pizza right there. You could have used more bacon, but we already have pepperoni too, so. Um, yeah, this looks plus pretty the good. bacon looks yeah. pretty burnt. So we're gonna let this cool. Burnt the more burnt the better. And then we are going to cut out a slice. And by slice, you mean one of the biscuits. One of the biscuits cut. All right, so now, um, we are going to get a slice, and when I say slice, a biscuit portion of pizza. So um, it really doesn't matter which one you want to take first, but for now I'm just going to do this one because it's the easiest. Okay, and now you may need like maybe like a little fork thing too to be able to scoop it out. So yeah, maybe just to help get it on. So it's like that. And now... The reason why these didn't rise as much, because the one I, the pan I used last uh, last night was actually a lot smaller than this one, so they kind of they couldn't spread out. So when they can't spread out, they have to go up. So since these ones had a lot of wiggle room, these ones came into a nice um, spread. So yeah, now I can try cutting into it. If you want. Alright, so that's the inside. Looks good. It's good. Alright guys, so that's gonna be pretty much it for today. You seen the video? Oh yeah, we gotta do us trying it. Oh okay. Um yeah, let me get you a slice. You have any preference? Uh nope. Uh, okay. Nice. Okay. I'll film you trying yours, and then you'll film uh, me trying mine. Okay, um, alright. Hot. But good. Mm. Good? What do you rate it? Five out of five. Good man. Can you afford? Probably, yeah. Alright. This is a cheap, effective way to fill up your family's stomachs and it turns out really nice yeah, probably should ask for a knife but so too late all right uh i'm maxwell whiteman and uh, cameraman cameraman and i'm trying eric's trailer park pizza originally taken from the great angry grandpa good what do you give it five out of five everyone you've heard it now Thank you guys for watching. This video may be put into two parts, um, just to split it because it is a very long video. Um, and we'll come out with more on Eric's Gourmet uh, Hour. Hour. Thanks. When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's amore. 
When the world seems to shine like you've had too much wine, that's a more Bells will ring, tingle-ling-a-ling, tingle-ling-a-ling, and you'll sing the the bell. Hearts will play, tippy-tippy-tay, tippy-tippy-tay. You know, Mike, it's the youngins that got me this. Of course. I got choked up too because it's like. They think enough of us to watch my videos, to watch this old man lose it, to listen to my advice. Y'all are more than just youngins, y'all are family. And I want to thank y'all from the bottom of my heart. That means a lot to me. <laughs>